Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be racing myself. I've got the Hemisphere S631 here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the end of the block here, right by the corner there, and I'm going to race myself using tilt and without using tilt, shooting every crack in the sidewalk here. So I've done it a couple times already before I started filming this video. It's about 65 shots, and what I want to show you in today's video is what you can expect when you're out in the field from the tilt sensor, how much time it could save you, and what kind of difference it could make on your day. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video and see what kind of results we get. All right, so before we get to the results of our test, which if that's all you care about, I'm gonna put a time code in the description that you can skip ahead to. But what I'm gonna do now is explain how the test works. So starting way behind me, there's a stop sign way off in the distance. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot from that stop sign to just past the camera here. I'm gonna shoot every single break in the curb. So there's a break or so every four feet on this curb. I'm gonna shoot every single one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to have tilt disabled. So I'm gonna have to level the pole for every shot. And then I'm going to enable it on the next run where I'm gonna have the pole tilted for all of my shots. So I don't have to worry about leveling the pole. And then in order to not involve the data collector at all in this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the auto store measurement option in Field Genius Android on. So what that means is as soon as I hit the RTK fix button, it automatically stores the point for me. I don't have to enter any additional information because I don't want that tainting the data at all. So I'm gonna flip the camera now so you can actually see me running the test. So what you can see is as I walk along here, I'm gonna shoot the points with a tilt and then out my tilt. So that's what it looks like as I'm shooting points. You can see I'm a little bit quicker, at least visually when I've got the pull tilted. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull us up into the sky so you can follow me on my final run, run four here, which was my fastest for both tilt and without tilt enabled. Just a bit of a spoiler for those of you who haven't skipped ahead to the results. And you can see this little orange dot that is me and the two progress bars on the top of the screen show that I'm making it a little bit quicker with tilt enabled. So with that in mind, I'm gonna head inside because it's a little bit chilly out here. Okay, so I showed you how our test was working outside. So you get a pretty good idea of how we ran our test. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip over to my computer here so we can take a look at the actual results of the test. So what you can see in this first graph here is the results from run to run. So you can see I'm about 50% faster with tilt enabled on the 631 compared to it being disabled. Now, some of you are gonna say, Nolan, you ex weren't exactly the fastest guy at leveling the bubble. That is a fair assessment. Obviously, if you are the kind of guy that can walk and keep that bubble dead steady as you walk along, you're gonna be a little bit faster than I am on these ones where I gotta level the bubble. So you're not gonna see as significant as a speed increase as I saw when I was using tilt. But that being said, if you've got new crews or you have guys that maybe aren't as experienced as you are with that bubble, you're gonna be way, way faster when you're using the tilt function versus when you're not. And even the most experienced guys are gonna have a gain. And the other thing to think about is when you are out there, and there's one shot in particular that I'm thinking about, when I was going along those cars along the curb, some of them kind of blocked the shot I needed to take. There was one in particular where the mirror kind of got in the way and I had to be real careful not to scuff this poor guy's mirror while I was taking the shot with the pole level. But when I was using the tilt one, I didn't have to worry about the mirror at all. I could just go around the mirror in essence and take that shot without having to worry about scuffing this guy's car or going to have, am I gonna to have to go find this guy and ask him to move? Am I gonna to have to come back later? All of those things you don't have to worry about when you have tilt. You can just angle the pole and get the shot. And what this means for you is over the course of an hour, you're gonna see a huge increase in the number of points you can take. So using my times, which again, I'll admit, I'm not the fastest guy on leveling the pole, I saw a 49% time saving. So when I had tilt disabled on the 631, it was taking me 11.2 seconds to go from one shot to the next and finish everything. When I enabled tilt, I went to 5.6 seconds. So that's only six seconds, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal when you're talking about seconds. But when you extrapolate that over an hour, that means I'm going to be able to shoot 326 points 
with my tilt disabled, but when I enable that tilt, I can go all the way up to 650 points. So what this means is, especially if you've got a new guy, where you have somebody that's not as experienced on RTK equipment or using a level rod or anything like that, they are gonna be significantly faster and are going to be able to make you more money and take more points on site during the day. Okay, so those are the results I saw when I was using Tilt and I'm not the only person who reported this kind of speed. We had customers that were telling us they were 50% faster on stakeout, you know, they were 40% faster in the layout and pickup and that kind of thing. And we decided it was high time we test it ourselves. However, if you give this to any Joe Blow off the street, they are gonna be significantly faster with Tilt. If you're a new user, you're gonna be significantly faster. If you're a guy that's maybe getting tired of walking all day long and holding that pole level, it's starting to get to your back, it's starting to tire you out, you don't have to worry about that with tilt. And that was one thing I haven't mentioned up until this point. When I was walking out there with that pole, and I was having to hold that pole perfectly level, my back was actually starting to get sore. And I can only imagine for some of you guys that are taking a couple thousand points a day, this adds up over time. It's gonna beat up your body more, you're gonna be more tired at the end of the day, you're gonna be more sore. With tilt, I didn't really have to worry about that. I could kind of cheat a little bit. Yeah, I'm not taking, you know, 60 degree tilt shots, but even just holding it off center for five, six degrees, and I don't have to worry about it, it just saves so much effort on your part. You don't have to hold it dead steady. You can just take it, shoot your point, and move on. There's nothing you need to worry about on that front. So, if you wanna try tilt out yourself, let us know, give us a shout, and we'll do our level best to get this gear in your hands so that you can try it out and see how it works for you. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is a tilt race, where I race myself to see if I indeed tilt makes you any faster in the field, and I hope today's video showed you that you can be a little bit faster, if not significantly so. And if you have a moment and you wanna see more videos like this, I please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really just helps out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.